Standing next to me is Wayne, and he's with CCA. And Wayne, can you explain to our viewers what that means? We're Coastal Conservation Association of California, or CCA Cal. We're the fishing advocacy group representing coastal recreational angling in California. We're the group that's going to try to keep the fisheries open, make sure that you have something to fish for in the future. Our whole program is about keeping the fisheries open for you, as well as we do hatchery programs with the Hub Sea World uh, Research Institute on the white sea bass replenishment. We do, we're working on artificial reef programs. We're going to work on youth programs and science programs to help uh, support our cause of recreational fishing. Well, we have the youth programs going pretty well, so maybe there's some synergy that we can do together. Absolutely. CCA uh, National uh, is in 18 states and 218 local chapters, and then we are all about giving back. And, and it's about the future of our fishery for all of us. So here it is. We're going to try to keep the fisheries open, make sure that there's a sustainable event by having reefs and uh, uh, replenishment of the species out there. And then we're going to make sure that the, the kids, you know, get out and learn how to fish. So your program, our program, we're all working for the same cause. Right. And then tell our viewers a little bit, like, I understand everybody's been fighting the closures and all that, but what are some of the short-term things you guys are working on? Well, we got another thing, let's see. Uh, right now, up at the Pacific Fisheries Management Council, we're trying to actually work on the drift gill net issue that's been around since the United Anglers days. So between the drift gill net issue and the longline issue, we're still fighting to keep those out. But, but the reason we're still hanging around is because there's no alternate gear for your commercial fishermen to fish. So the fight right now is to get the deep set buoy gear authorized. Then they will have something to use. And that's where the, the, the rub is. We got to get that through all of those agencies. Now, the next piece on top of that is the toxic uh, Department of Toxic Substance Control in California is trying to add fishing weights and gear onto their priority list. We don't belong on the list because we don't meet the minimum requirements, but, but that's our lead. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get all the support we can so that we can keep fishing with lead in California because they don't have any proof that it's, there's really the problem, a widespread problem of lead. Right, so they're talking about wanting to ban lead sinkers. <laughs> Absolutely, lead sinkers in California. But there's, they don't meet their own minimum requirements for, to add us to that list. So that's what we're fighting. Good news is we've got some really good support coming on board. We've got senators in California that are fighting our fight right now. And they, they, they're going back to their own agency saying, you guys they haven't met burden of proof. So that's good. Now, when the gillnet ban came around, I mean, instantly we saw the improvement of white sea bass fishing halibut fishing so fighting some of that commercial gear I understand but uh, the closures hopefully we won't have more closures yeah it's not about the closures um, people go oh you guys are fighting against the commercial commercial fleet please understand we're not fighting the commercial fleet we're fighting a gear type a gear type that hurts the total resources of all of our fisheries and that's the issue it's indiscriminate on what it does. It's a wall that goes to the ocean and then it, it gets everything in its way, whether it's a turtle, a shark, a swordfish, any other bycatch, and that's the problem. If they were actively fishing their gear, then there wouldn't be this problem of, of hurting a resource, and that's really the rub. We want gear that's going to be better actively managed, and, th and that's what we're trying to do. All right, um, can you let everybody know where they can find out more information? Your website, you guys on Facebook too, or where can they find you? Uh, our website is ccacalifornia.org, and we are CCA Calif of California on Facebook. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you for the information. Thank you. All right, and hopefully we can work together and uh, make things better for all the fishermen in California. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Dan. All right, thanks, man. All right. All right, for more information, go to their website. Don't forget to subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Talk to you again real soon.